Time now for Futures in Focus. Scott Gikas of Walsh Trading joins us now from the CME. Scott, oil up. We've got stocks down. We've got bonds higher. Commodities more mixed generally apart from oil. Walk me through what you're seeing. Yeah, I mean, it's 100 percent. It's all due to headline risk, the Trump effect, <clears throat> the breakdown in trade war talks, definitely adding pressure to the downside with the stocks. The bigger news with stocks is the, the decision with the Supreme Court coming out with Apple. That's adding a, quite a bit of downside pressure to the U.S. stocks. And then you throw in it, the retaliation from China is also putting downward pressure on the stocks. As far as the oil goes, you have a lot of bulls catalysts, a lot of uh, positive headlines coming out between the, the channel and in Houston being shut down, refineries getting cut, as well as the uh, the big refinery in India losing one of their units, adding to those supply concerns, as well as uh, all the tensions in the Middle East. So we expect the tensions in the Middle East uh, to continue for some time. That is measured by uh, looking at the option flow in the oil market. We've seen a big block of uh, 72 calls trade right on the open, about 4,000. That just leads us to believe that there's the can continue of uh, the Middle East tensions moving forward. That's not going to go away anytime soon. Scott, good to get your take. Thanks. Scott Geekhouse joining us from Walsh Trading out of Chicago. Thank you very much.